Hey there everybody, I'm Drew from NWA3D and we're going to go over how to install the NWA3D A31 into Cura so you can print. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and click on Cura to open it up. And then once you've got Cura installed and open, the first time you open it, it's going to ask you to add a new printer. If you've already installed it, we're going to have to actually get to the add a new printer area by clicking on your printer selection right here, and then click add printer. Now once we click add printer, we're going to go to the custom printer right here, and then we're going to change the name to the NWA3DA31. Then once we got that changed, we're going to need to set up some parameters so we can print well. And the way that we set that up is we're going to change the X, Y, and Z to 300 by 300 by 400. Then we're going to make sure that the heated bed is checked right here and change our G code from Marlin to RepRap. So once we change this to RepRap and then change these values from 300 by 300 by 400, then we'll have our correct build area to be able to print. Once we've got those set, we're going to click over here where it says extruder 1. And, and this is the area that we're going to make sure that the nozzle size says 0.4 and the compatible material diameter is 1.75. Once we make sure that both of these values say 0.4 and 1.75, then we'll go back to printer, make sure this is 300 by 300 by 400, heated bed is checked here, and RepRap is checked there. Now we'll go ahead and click Finish. Now the last thing that we need to do to install Cura is to actually click on our profile selection up here and then go from the recommended settings to the custom settings. And that's found by switching to these areas down here in the bottom. So we'll click on our custom settings. And then we're going to click where it says Profile from Fine and click Manage Profiles. Now here we're going to plug our SD card into our computer and then click Profiles and then import. Now we're going to navigate to our SD card. So we'll go ahead and have our SD card plugged into our computer. If not, go ahead and plug it in so it pops up. And then click on your NWA3D A31. Now we'll click on Cura. And then you'll see the A31 normal quality profile inside of that Cura folder. We'll go ahead and click Open. And it'll successfully import. Woohoo. And we'll click OK. And then now click the NWA3D A31 quality right here and say activate. Now we're ready to print. We'll go ahead and say close and we can load a print for printing. So to load a print you can click on this open button right here and also on the SD card in the STL file folder we have several things that you can print. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the keychain and click open. And then now that I've imported my, my keychain I could just click slice and slice my model to print. But I want to rotate this flat so it prints better. And if you hold the right mouse button, you can kind of move around. You can even zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel. And when I click on this, I can click on my model to either move it around, which is the default. And you can even click in values right here if I wanted to move this maybe 50 millimeters over. Or you can click on these values right here. And if it's kind of hard to click on the arrows, go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And then you can click on the arrows to be able to move your model around. You can scale your model right here. So if I wanted to scale it down, if I wasn't wanting to scale it to an exact value, I could do 50% of the size. Or maybe I could do 150% of the size to kind of blow it up a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 100. You can also change your actual millimeter values if you want. And then the rotate feature right here, that's what we're going to do. Because I want to lay this flat to give it a nice flat orientation for printing. You want to try to get models as flat as possible so they print well. So I'm going to click on the circle right here that rotates sideways. And it's kind of hard to tell in this angle. So I'm going to hold my right mouse button and move. Now you can see the blue is going to rotate the model around this way. The red is going to rotate it side to side. And if I rotate this way, you'll see that the red lines up that, that way. And the green is what we want, though. So we're going to click on the green and then click on it and drag it down. And then when we drag it flat and let go, it's going to flatten out on a bill plate. Now that we've got our flat on our build plate, I'm going to go ahead and rename it down here. And I'll just name it Keychain. So I'll just highlight that and then say Delete and then hit Enter. And now that it's renamed, I'm going to go ahead and slice it. That's when it gets converted to the G code that the printer can read. And that's what Kira does. So once it's sliced, it's going to tell me how long it's going to print. So it's going to take 29 minutes and about how much material it's going to use. You can also click Preview to see what your model's going to look like. Now you can move your model up 
and see what each individual layer is going to print. This is really useful if you design something that might have walls so thin that you can't print, or if you get something online to make sure that it's 3D printable. So if I move my angle around and then kind of move this up and down, you can even click play here to see what it's actually going to do on each layer. And if I move up to this top layer, you can see when I zoom in, you can't quite see all the inside of this triangle, even though in my prepare, it looks like that's going to be solid. When I look at preview, you can tell that it's not. It's going to have a little bit of gap in there, which is OK. But that's something just to keep in mind when you're printing and how you can check your model out before it's ready to print. Now, you can either click this button here to save it to a file on your computer, or click Save to Removable Drive. And then you can take that SD card, just hit Eject right here, stick that in your A31, and you'll be ready to print. And that's it. So good luck 3D printing out there. And if you need any help with slicing or anything else 3D printed related, just let us know at nwa3d.com or any social media, and we'll be there to help out. Have a great day.